December 16, 2014, the Jaguar men faced off against a well-coached Wabanese Valley College. Early in the first half, the Jaguars kept playing hard, even though their shots were falling short. Number 3, Sande O'Connor, and number 25, Bingo Harris, kept crashing offensive glass for rebounds and finished with tough layups. The Jaguar men still trailed 19-23 with 4 minutes and 48 seconds left in the first half. They made sure their opponents didn't score with a powerful block from number 20, Pierre Jolly. Coach Bates came out in the second half, making sure his team played team defense and team basketball. The Jaguars went up 47 to 41. But the visitor, Chief, had other plans, led by number 33, Josh McCullough. He was just having his way in the post. Seconds left in the second half. The Jaguar men trailed by two points. Number 12, Jonte Shannon drove baseline and finished with a strong layup to tie the game up to 58 to 58. Delvin Echols comes down, he misses the three. The ball gets it to Josh McKinley. He comes down the court, he pulls up from half court, he banks it off the glass! Wait, 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 the ref says it's no good, he traveled! So the game is forced into overtime. The first overtime for the GSU men. The Jaguars attack number 33, Joshua McCullough, to pick up his fifth foul and to put him on the sideline for the rest of the game. With a close game in the last minute of the overtime session, Number two, Saeed Ivory hits a key floater to put his team up with 48.9 seconds left in overtime. With the last 40 seconds left in overtime, how did you feel making that teardrop shot? It was time to just uh, be big and make a play. I ain't want to like, I ain't like the excitement he got when he almost like won in the regulation. So some just woke me up like we can't get that no more. Like I didn't want that feeling if they were, if we would have lost to him. So I ain't want to do that to the people in here. So it's just like it was time to step up and be big and get the game over with. Chris Seaton came up big for your Jaguars with 17 points and 7 rebounds. How does it feel to be the second MVP of this first season? Feels really good, you know. I don't really count myself as the MVP, I count my team as the MVP. Because without them giving me the ball, I wouldn't have it. With the final score, the men Jaguars 68, the Walmanese Chief 66. With the first overtime of the season, the GSU men prevail on top with the W. For future sports coverage, tune in to the Facebook channel, YouTube channel, and the GSU sports page. I'm your host, Lance Butler. Have a great day.